In this ICT basics video, we are going to go over the ICT rejection block, which is the first really order block um, in a in the hierarchy or PD array hierarchy. So, guys, the rejection block is a liquidity signature, um, fundamentally. But what it is, it is the highest close or opening candle in a swing, or the lowest candle body in a swing. So it is basically just not the wick. Um, obviously it will depend on which time frame you are looking at, um, but in any event it is the highest close in a swing, highest candle body, so open or close. That's a rejection block right there. Um, or it is the lowest candle body. Now Guys, whenever price runs on a rejection block and then turns around without breaching that high or low, uh, that is called a failure swing. Now it is still a run on liquidity. It is still an attempted run on liquidity, but it's otherwise known as a failure swing, meaning that price did not deliver a new high or did not deliver a new low. Nevertheless, uh, price will have a tendency to want to run on these rejection blocks and then and then turn around. So. What you need to know about the rejection block essentially is that it's it's the highest uh, it's it's the highest candle body at the end of an upswing or it is the lowest candle body at the end of a downswing. It is a liquidity signature. When price runs on it, um, it means that price was running on liquidity. Whether it delivered a new high or low or not, it was still running on that liquidity. So it is a liquidity signature. And it's the first order block uh, in the series, basically, because you have rejection block and then breaker block and then normal order blocks. Um, so in any event, guys, it is a liquidity signature. And as you can see, uh, once price gets down to rejection blocks, you know, oftentimes it is just going to turn around there on these failure swings. It's not always going to deliver um, deliver a new high or a new low. So for example, here, right? So. When price gets to a rejection swing, guys, it's uh, sorry, rejection block. It is likely that if you are trading multiple contracts, many contracts, uh, you should probably start taking parcels at these rejection blocks. Um, do you know whether price is beforehand if it's going to turn at a rejection block or not? Uh, you really don't know, but you can take good guesses. Like if you have a lot of lows in the same area, price is probably just going to sweep under those lows rather than turn around at the rejection block. If you've only got like one swing high. You know, you don't have so many highs and lows in the same exact spot. Price is probably, it has a higher chance of turning around at the rejection block, which is, again, the lowest candle body in a downswing or the highest candle body in an upswing. And yes, it will change depending on which time frame you're looking at. Uh, it is a liquidity signature. If price runs on it but then turns around, that is called a failure swing, meaning that price did not deliver a new high or a new low. You do not know whether price is going to turn at the rejection block beforehand or not, or if it's going to deliver a new high or low, but you can take guesses based, based on how juicy all the highs or lows look, what time of the day it is, etc., etc. So guys, in this ICT basics video, we went over the ICT rejection block. I hope that you enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.